This is amazing. Now we have Florence 2, a vision language model from Microsoft. The Florence 2 paper consists of two different things. One is creating a data set and also creating a Florence 2 model. It is released in two different versions, Florence to base model and Florence to large model. So the first one is 0.23 billion parameter model and the second one that is the largest 0.77 billion parameter model, which means it's capable of running in a local computer or even a mobile device. This is comparatively smaller than any of these models. You can see it's clearly outperforming a larger size model such as Flamingo and Cosmos 2. The way they achieve this is by creating the data set that is FLB 5B and it consists of 5 billion annotations. The way they create the data set is different. Similarly, the model architecture is different and it is capable of handling different types of outputs. Here are a few examples where you can locate the phrases in the caption. So it can identify objects and locate the phrases in the caption. Next, it can do OCR, which means when we are provided with images like this, it is able to read those things. And also when you prompt such as locate giraffe in this image, it is able to identify giraffe. Similarly, locate Mercedes-Benz M2 Audi, then it's able to locate that. And it's quite amazing that with small size model, this is possible. An overview of the paper with model architecture and the data set preparation. Using the model inference, we are able to create a user interface like this. And when you upload a file, like an image of a car, then ask identify what is in this image. Then it's able to give the simple caption, the detailed caption, OCR, what is in the image, then different markings around the picture, as you can see here. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Florence 2 from Microsoft. This paper involves two different things. One is creating the data set and creating the vision language model, as you can see here. So the data set is called FLD5B and the vision model is Florence 2. So how the data set got created? So after adding the image, it is passed to multiple models such as Azure OCR API, caption model, grounding model, object model, segmentation model. So all these models work together and then it gave relevant results. So those results are stored in the data set and other text filtering and region filtering has been implemented. So by just providing one image, it is capable of getting multiple types of results, identifying an object, giving a description about the object, having the bounding box around an object. And finally, that data is fed to the Florence 2 model. And then the final annotation will include a brief caption, a detailed caption, more detailed caption, OCR, object detection, region proposal, and dense caption. So when we see the architecture of this model, it's same as before, we have an image encoder, and that is converted to visual embeddings. Similarly, these texts are converted to relevant embeddings. So if you see the details, what does the image describe? Locate the objects in the image. Locate the phrase in the caption. What does the region describe? What is the polygon mask of the region? So these are the tasks and the data which was created earlier contains answer for all these questions. So those are converted to embeddings. Then it was fed to the transformer encoder, then the normal transformer decoder. So as an output, just that one image is able to give all this different type of details such as a detailed caption, a short caption, a person with all these marks to draw the bounding box, a short description, and much more. This is exciting. Just with a small model, you are able to get all these things. So the main advantage comes when we fine tune this model. Also, we are going to see how you can create an interface like this and inference this model, use this model in your application. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. I'm going to use a GPU from Mast Compute. Use Mervin Prison as the coupon code to get 50% off. So this is my configuration, but you should be able to run this even with one graphic card. So first step, pip install and all these packages. I will put all the information in the description below and then click enter. Now after this, let's create a file called app.py and click enter. Now inside the file, first importing OS, importing matplotlib, then patches, image from pillow, then chain lit as CL, auto processor, auto model for coastal LM from transformers, torch, numpy as NP. Next, we are going to initialize the model, initialize the model and the processor, providing the model name, defining the model and the processor. 
So what is a model and what is a processor? Generally, a model don't understand a normal text. So that will be converted to numbers, that is embeddings, using tokenizer. Or in this case, it's processor. And then it's fed to the large language model. Then once there's a response from the large language model, that will be again numbers or embeddings. Then again, we'll be using processor or the tokenizer to convert that to text. So that is the use of processor. So we have defined that here. Next, going to add a function to resize image. So this preprocess image function will automatically get the image and resize it if the size of the image is larger. So these are few checks which I'm doing before processing the image, but these are optional. Next, going to create a function to run Florence to large model. So here I'm creating a function called run Florence model. So here I'm giving the prompt and the text input. So as I mentioned before, we are using processor. So that prompt, so the instruction what we give or the question which we ask is converted to embeddings using processor. So that inputs are again sent to the model.generate function as we are seeing here. So those numbers or the data after we received from the processor is sent to the large language model using model.generate. And that output is again sent to the processor to convert back to text. Then we are doing an additional step that is post-processing generation to extract the parse answer. Finally, we are returning both the answer and the generated text, which I will show you how it's going to work. Next, we are going to draw a box around those images with the received data from the model. To do that, I'm going to create a function. So here is the function name, plot image with boxes. So that will automatically receive the data and plot boxes around those images. Even this is optional if you don't want to do it. Next final step is to integrate this with the user interface that is Chainlit. It's a chat kind of interface, Chainlit message handler to process uploaded images. So in this, we are using a decorator called on message. That means as soon as we upload an image or send a message, it is able to read the message. If there is no file attached, it will return saying no file attached. Then that image will be collected, resized using the pre-process image, what we created before. Then those information, that is the image size and image details are sent to the run Florence model function. That's where you run the model. So that's the one which we created before. So first we send to the pre-process image, then the process image is sent to the run Florence model, and then we'll get the response. So that's for image captioning. Then for object detection, again, we are running the model and passing this value. Next for OCR, we are passing this value. Next for phrase grounding, we are passing this. Then for detailed caption, we are passing this. Finally, we are creating plots. That's where we draw the boxes around those images and finally return using this response. So we are putting all those return details together and then we are sending that using dot sent. So the images are embedded in elements. That's it. So as a quick overview, we resize the image, then we send that image to the large language model or the vision language model, then the response we are just printing it out. Now I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, chainlit run app.py and then click enter. And finally, I can see it's running in port number 8000 and I'm going to open that in my browser. And we got the user interface here. Now I'm going to upload an image, an image of a car, and then going to ask what is in this image and then click enter. Now after uploading this image, and here are the list of things which I received. That is simple caption, object detection, and it read what is written in the car, that is the car number. Then it gave me these images with all the markings. Now you are able to integrate this model with any of your application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.